Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Good morning. It is currently ooh, Friday, December 10th, and it is like 11 or so in the morning. Wanted to start the vlog here. I was doing a bit of work for school because one of my finals is due this weekend, but I want to turn it in today. But I figured I would take you guys through my breakfast. Um, I am going to make a coffee because I know I'm going to need it today. But today I think I'm going to go get a car wash. That's going to be really interesting. And I don't know what else, but I wanted to make today's video a bit of like a more vlog style kind of relax instead of like more sit down. I feel like my last few videos have been a bit more like sit down talky. So I figured this one would be a bit more vlog style. But I think for breakfast today, I'm going to have a fruit bowl, maybe, or like a yogurt fruit bowl. That's literally my go-to breakfast because it's like 11.30 and I don't want anything too heavy because I'm probably going to have a more like formal lunch. So I'm going to whip that up and then check in with you guys in a bit. I'll show you how I make it, but I've showed you like a thousand times. It's literally just the Trader Joe's yogurt fruit and my favorite granola. my breakfast it's honestly a breakfast that I've shown you so many times but it's a go-to of mine same yogurt same granola and then I just only did strawberries today and then for my beverage I made a, a latte with one shot of espresso and then I put some cinnamon on the bottom of that frothed some milk and then just topped it with some cinnamon and I don't know I've never done this before but we were um, out of the Nespresso pod that I typically use so I just decided that I would make a latte of some kind but we can get the taste test it smells really good mmm oh wow that's really good I also threw in a little bit of like vanilla into the milk wow Yeah, wow, this is a really good combo. So cheers if you're drinking coffee or wine or water or anything. Cheers. All right, so I just finished up breakfast and my coffee and now I'm going to get back to my final. Um, it's a take home final, so I'm not that worried about it in general. I outlined um, my answers this morning so I can just show y'all like how I outline I guess my papers or finals so for this um, I actually used Google Docs which I like never use but I put the prompt or like the directions at the top and then I had each question just with a number and then I went through marked each lecture that kind of referred to the question this is an open book final just wanted to give that um, disc like disclaimer um, so I marked each lecture with like its own bullet point, kind of talked about um, what each lecture, I guess, focused on that related to the question. I did a bit of bold um, and then just had some readings and examples um, for every question. So this was pretty easy, although this going through all of like my notes and my docs took about an hour and a half. Um, there's three questions and I think I did like a pretty thorough job. So again, just having the lecture, what each, each lecture talked about, um, and then just kind of thinking about certain things. So I put points to think about. Um, and yeah, I think this will make the final process a lot easier. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get this done today, so I am going to work on this probably for the next hour or so, and then see what work I get done. Typically when I study or like do work, I'll do 25 minute like increments between, um, like my work. So I'll work for 25 minutes and then give myself like a five minute break. Um, to either like get ready, go on my phone, get something to eat, whatever. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how I get, how, we'll see how far I get in the next hour. 
Hello and welcome to Vlogmas day 12. So yesterday was a bit of a crazy day for me. I had a final to turn in and I got some clips of yesterday. I only filmed part of my morning and then the rest of the day, genuinely I was working on my final the entire day because I had work today, which brings us to today and it is about five o'clock and I had dinner with my family but I didn't have anything really to film today, so I figured that I would do one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube, and these have been one of my favorite videos for a very long time, and it is a what's in my bag. I feel like I used to watch these videos all the time on YouTube when I was like in high school and even in middle school, so I figured I would show y'all what's in my bag. Um, I think I've pretty much like narrowed down everything I need in my bag. All right, so starting with my bag, this is my sister's bag. This is a thrifted Kate Spade bag. I think she got it at Goodwill. It's kind of a dupe for the Prada bag. I think the re-edition that a lot of people have. I like this because it's brown um, and it's small enough, but it honestly fits everything that I need. So diving right on into my bag, the first thing I have are my sunglasses and these are a pair of Ray-Bans. I don't know the name of these guys, but they look like this. Um, they're like the oval shape and I love them so much. They have like a thin gold frame. I think I got these like a year or so ago, um, but they're just like super cool. I love these glasses. I always have like at least one pair of sunglasses on me. Um, sometimes I have more than one, which is really extra, but you know, you never know what look you need to create. And I just like love the um, Ray-Ban case, so I haven't transferred them. But yeah, always, always, always have these with me. Um, next, I have a little baby um, thing of Aquaphor. I always keep this on me because I have very, very dry and sensitive skin. Um, and I have like a patch of eczema like on my arm that really just acts up all the time, especially in the winter. Um, so I keep this on me to just kind of like hydrate if I need it or if I have like really dry hands or dry lips, I just use this. This is like a huge, huge essential for me. Um, moving right along, the next thing I have in my bag is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I use this so often. Um, I've had this for a long while and I still have so much of it left. This is just like the original one, but I love this, um, for when my lips are dry and it really just keeps them super hydrated. I know you're supposed to use this like overnight, but I use this as like a regular lip balm. I don't know. I don't really think it makes that much of a difference. Um, next... I have hand sanitizer. This is the Trader Joe's Grapefruit and Lemon Hand Sanitizer Spray. I really like this because it is a spray. I feel like regular hand sanitizers just kind of like, I don't like having to like squeeze and do all of that. So the fact that this is so simple and I can literally just, and it's, look at that, super, super fast, super clean. It doesn't have a smell of alcohol, which is really, really important to me because I like, I just feel like when I can smell the alcohol, I know for sure it's drying out my hands, um, which I don't love. So I love having this and this was like a couple bucks at Trader Joe's. So I love that and I love the smell. All right. Next in my bag, I have my wallet and this is just a really simple, um, wallet. It's a Gucci wallet. It's, um, like the smallest wallet they have. I, I got it in Italy when I was on a senior trip and I just love this wallet. It is so simple. It has like a couple like of like slot holders. <laughs> I still have my Metro card. Yes, I'm upset about it. No, I won't let this one go because this is the last one I bought before I left New York. It's really sad, but um, I have like my cards and my IDs and stuff and then it has like a little um, change purse like right here and then another little compartment and then a little space for cash. So it's really, it's a really simple wallet. I like it because it's compact and I can't carry too much with it, but it's really great. I wanted a black little simple wallet and this was a little graduation present to myself. Um, and then this I actually threw in my bag randomly and I meant to put it in a haul. Um, I don't know why I need to like make a haul because I've purchased a couple things over the past few weeks but this is the sage um, peaceful warrior deodorant and it is a mineral salt deodorant um, that you can just use and it's like a spray I am very much into natural deodorant at the moment and I have the Kopari one and it's just kind of like a traditional roll-on deodorant but I was curious to see like how this would work um, this is aluminum free, obviously, which is like my biggest thing. And it's just like a lot of good, like natural oils. 
So I was just curious, and I keep this in my bag just in case like I ever forget deodorant or things like that. I can just use this, but I haven't used it yet. So I will give you guys my thoughts once I um, test it out, but it's 100% all natural. And yeah, it wasn't too expensive compared to some other natural deodorants on the market. Like I know this was cheaper than Native, and Native is like something you can find in like a Target. Um, so then I have my house keys. I have these house keys that are to my dad's house and I keep them on a separate um, like lanyard. And then this is the key to my mom's house. So on my keys, this is like a key holder from Madewell. It's like a little leather key holder. It's super nice. I love this. I use this in New York for like my own keys and I just decided to keep it. So I have a little um, keychain, I guess, thing that says where you are today matters for who you'll be tomorrow. And I really like that. My mom got that for me. And then I have a little bottle opener, I guess, that says Golden Girl. Um, that was a gift from my friends. So I really, really like this. I kind of like the yellow vibe on my keys. Always, always have my keys with me. Obviously, I have my phone all the time. That kind of goes without saying. And then if I am vlogging, I have my camera. But I'm using that right now, so I don't have it. Um, and then, obviously, along that same note, I have my car key. I just keep it loose. And what else do I have in here? I have a safety pin um, because a lot of my pants don't fit. So I have to use a safety pin at the back just to kind of really cinch in my waist. Um, then I have a... Starbucks gift card that I got for my job for Black Friday. I never ended up using it, but there's like five bucks on it. Um, and then I have my AirPods. These are the AirPods Pro. I have the regular AirPods too. It's super extra, but these came with my new computer that I got a couple months ago. Um, and yeah, I always have these with me. When these are dead, I feel like my whole life is falling apart, but I always, always keep that with me as well and then last but not least I have a little bag with just like oh my god literally anything you could ever need I have a hand cream from first aid beauty it's the ultra repair hand cream I have Advil which so many people need I have floss um like a couple band-aids a couple options for perfume this is the Chloe Nomad one of my favorites so really just like all of your first aid needs are in <laughs> this little bag and when all of this is put in its proper place it all gets just thrown into this bag and you can see like how much room this bag has like it can be super deep so literally I have no rhyme or reason to organizing my purse I just chuck it all in there like this and it always 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 fits usually I'll have like another mask or two just in my bag either in like a little plastic pouch or just loose because I typically like forget my mask or I'll have another one in my car but that honestly wraps up like this very chatty like what's in my bag I love this bag so much um like I said it really just holds everything and it's like the perfect length under my shoulder i love it so much um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's in my bag i know this was a bit of like a random video but i honestly love watching these videos and seeing what people have of course subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and i will see you guys in the next day of vlogmas